Light has color quality, which we refer to as color temperature. When we compare daylight and an incandescent light, we see a bluish to white for the daylight and a yellow to orange light for the incandescent light. All lights exhibit an intrinsic color quality. Every day we are exposed to different color temperatures from the various light sources. So powerful is our brain that it subconsciously makes us believe that everything we look at reflects the correct hue. So when we look at a white wall, we see white, even though there is a color cast from a light source. This brings us to the camera. Now a camera is not so clever. The camera must be programmed to see white as white. When we shoot a scene, the light source tints all the objects in the scene with its intrinsic color, its color temperature. That is, the whole scene has a color cast produced by that light source. This scene has a yellow to orange color cast due to the color temperature of the light. In this case, an incandescent light. And this scene has a bluish cast due to the color temperature of the daylight at this time of day. Daylight color temperature changes over the course of the day. This cast affects all the colors in the scene. Color balancing within the camera removes these casts. The best reference for correcting color cast in the scene is white. In more advanced lessons, you will learn of grayscales and charts used in the film industry for color balancing. In this case, we use white as a color balance reference. It may be worth mentioning at this point that we see color casts through the camera in white and skin tones, which is familiar to us. So green color casts will not look good on a face, no matter what the skin tone is. This is a good reference when one has completed a color balance. The camera's electronics is set to remove any cast using white as its reference. So we can use any white object to program the camera as long as the object is being illuminated by the light source lighting the scene. The camera electronics is adjusted to render white as white, no matter what color is illuminating it. When this is done, the color cast caused by the light source is removed. All cameras have color balance settings. Here are some common settings you will have seen. Indoor, which is normally assigned to an incandescent light, which has a color temperature typically between 2800 Kelvin and 3200 Kelvin. A sun, which depicts daylight, has a color temperature of around 5600 Kelvin and up, and can range from white to a bluish color. Here is a fluorescent light, symbol which requires special filters to remove unwanted frequencies and remove what is normally a green cast. However, today there are fluorescent lights that are designed for film and television and come in color temperatures of 3200 Kelvin and 5600 Kelvin. A cloud symbol which represents a cloudy day around 6000 Kelvin. And then there is the shadow symbol which is for shooting outdoors in shade and this will render a daylight color temperature around 8000 Kelvin, depending on the shadow intensity. Now these are presets that will adjust the camera's electronics to make white look white and remove the cost of that particular light source. This is called color balancing the camera. Depending on the camera model, there may be more or fewer color balance settings available. These are typical color balance settings found in the Nikon DSLR, in this case ranging from 2500 Kelvin to 10,000 Kelvin. And a color matrix that allows one to fine tune the color balance. Now once you understand how to correctly apply color balance settings to the camera, you can then start manipulating the settings to get the feel you like or prefer. If we run through a range of color temperature settings, you see how the color quality of, of the reflector changes. Only one setting will show the reflector as white. The other settings will range from orange through to blue. You can use this knowledge to give a picture a certain feel. 
As an example, this light source is 3200 Kelvin. When I perform a camera white balance against white, the scene is now color corrected, where white is white and all the other colors look natural. However, if I set the color temperature in the camera to 4800 Kelvin, the picture takes on a warm look, which is pleasant to the eye. If you want a cooler look, you can adjust the camera's color temperature until you achieve the look that you want. So to summarize, light sources have their own unique color temperature. The camera has preset settings to balance common light sources. Color balance can be set manually in the camera. White is a common reference. Skin tone is a good check for color costs. Color balance can be done manually with fine adjustments. The camera color balance settings can be manipulated to change the feel of the picture.